Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to design a helical antenna in Azure mode. So you can see the radiation pattern is directional in 3D and 2D. Okay, so first, you're going to use the calculator here to calculate the dimension and use another calculator to prove the dimension is correct. And we also will use the coaxial okay, to determine the dimension of the coaxial pin and we will use the CST to design it and here is the far field again in dB and the S parameter in 2.45 okay and we also will show you the surface current how is the current flow so you can view from here click on time in zero okay then we can start animate Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, next we will start design. So we click on file. Sometimes you can go to the help here, tutorial example, then go to like helix. Okay, it's helical. Then you can just open the file. Okay, with this, then you will have automatic all the template. Okay, with the frequency. So here is the result for the S11 is 0.6. And we have the template now, so we can delete the component, okay? And then we can just start design. Okay, so we delete this and we start our design. But we need to choose the unit, so our unit now is CM. So next, we'll go for the frequency. So our frequency is 2.45, so we can say like minimum 2 and maximum 3. So click OK. Next, we're going to delete this part here. Okay, so we delete this part. Okay, why do you have the part here is because of something like this. So let's say we have the part in the design because we have the wave guide part here to activate the power source. Okay, so Helix antenna here. So we just click on the modeling. First, we're going to create the curve. So we can click on circle here. Okay, so for the dimension, for the radius, we can go for here. The dimension here is like D4. The wire dimension is 2 mm, that means 0 0.2. So this one actually we can set by ourselves, depend on the wire that we purchase. So we can name it like wire diameter. And then we click on preview. So the dimension is 0 0.2 mm divide with 2 because it is radius here okay so we just click on ok so click ok here then we have the circle here okay so we need to make it like a circle that have like dimension so we can make it like click on a stroke here click on cover so once you double click here then we press enter so we just click on material define it as PEC because the helical here, the wire, we make it like it's a conductor, so we make it PEC. You can choose other material like aluminium or steel. So next, we can just view it using here, front view. Then we have circle here now. Okay, so we're going to make the helical is like curve on the top here. Okay. So we're going to move, make it something like this. Click on a model link and click on the line. Okay, so we just click on one side here. Okay, so just make sure it's the curve coil diameter. Okay, and I, can, I will explain this. Okay, so what we're going to do like coil diameter, that means we're going to do design a D2. This coil, how many turn and the diameter of the coil. So the diameter is, D2 is 38.9898. So we can make it like 4. We make it like 40 mm. That means 4 cm. So we click on preview. 4 cm divide 2 because it's in radius okay so okay so we click on 
OK here. OK, now we have the point from here to here. Then we're going to make the curve to like how many turn to turn up. So we're going to do something like this. Pick face this circle and pick face this line. And we may like rotation, rotate the face. And they will ask like how many times you want to turn. That means a coin. And then the angle, we can name it angle. And the height is fine. So we can make it like segment is like 15. And the height is the number of turn multiplied with space. Okay, what does this mean? The end number of turn is the end. So how many turn? Here will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 turn here. So S will be the spacing. So we can see on the calculator here. So the you can see here it's like between the spacing of the turn. So you can here is the total length. So we divide with 5. We will have each of the spacing between the, the turn. So we can see from here this is like L2 is like 153. So we can divide with 5 turn. Then we will have like 30 mm. Okay, so we can see another calculator. From here we can view it like it's like 30 mm is like 3 cm. So we can define here the S preview. Okay, so how much the angle? The angle will be like how many turn times with 360. Okay, so okay. Okay, before this we need to define the turn number of turn first. Okay, so we can just copy this and make it like here. Okay, preview. And the N will be 5 turn. And the S will be 3.05 cm. Okay, so now we have like 5 turns here. Okay, you can see right here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so done for this. And then we just click on OK. But the segment per turn is 15 because when you click on the help, it will show you minimum is 10. So we make it like 15. So we press OK. Now we have the Erica now. Okay, to check the dimension, you can click on the line here and the point here. Okay, we can choose like big face. Circle. Okay, so it's 2. That means the radius is 2 and here is 2. That means 4. So we can say our design here. The D2 is around 4 cm. Alright. So next, we're going to design the fit. So the fit is here. So we're going to design this. Okay, this leg. Okay, so this fit. So how are we going to design this? We just click on the cylinder. Escape. And then choose like V. The coordinate V, we're going to pointing down. So we can make it like 0 here. And here we can name it like fit. Alright. So next, here will be the the length of the feet. Okay, so we make it like S. And here will be the inner. So what is the dimension? We can name it like wire diameter because it's the same size. So we can just click on preview. Okay, now we have the feet here. Just click on as a PEC material. Click on OK. Okay, now we're done. And we actually, we're going to shoulder these two together. Will be something like this. We have a circle here. Okay, so if you can see here, actually they have a circle ball here. You can do it like, click on the sphera, this ball. And then click on the, let's say we can say shoulder. Shouldering. Okay, so the radius will be wire. Okay, and center is zero. So we can preview. It's a circle ball here. So we can click OK. Then it's something like combined together now. Alright. Then we're going to design the SMA. The Teflon here. Okay. So the Teflon here. Together with the feet and the disc. Okay. So it's something like this. So you will have the SMA with the Teflon and the disc here. Okay. So next we're going to do is we have the teflon so we can click on cylinder next will be like teflon 
Okay, click on the V and the Teflon here. Teflon diameter. Zero and here will be the negative S and negative S here. In include the SMA pin. Okay, so is we're going to rename it to choose a new material for Teflon. All right, so Teflon battery properties will be like two point one. You can click on apply. Okay. So it's Teflon now and the material and Teflon dimension diameter. So what is the Teflon diameter? We can go for the coaxial cable here. Okay, the diameter is 0 0.68 and 0 0.2. Why? Because the inner pin here, right? Okay, the D is 0 0.2. It's same as the wire here. Okay, and then what is the diameter? Why we have this diameter is like 0 0.68? Because when we calculate it, let's say I put it as 0 0.68 I can get like impedance is 50 ohm so if I put as 1 then I okay I put 1 then I click on then I get like 66 it's not the SMA 50 ohm so and the dietary properties of the Teflon is 2.1 that's why I need to change it to like 2.1 here and here will be like 0 0.68 only I can get 50 ohm okay so when I have get 50 ohm, then I can choose like here, click on preview. So it's like 0 0.68. So click OK. And the SMA pin, I can make it like, from here we can see, okay, let's say they have a length, we make it like 1 cm. Okay, 1 cm. Okay, so we will have something like this. Okay, and the inner, of course, is the wire. Okay, because we have the slot here. Okay, so we will make it like empty here. So click OK. So now we have the Teflon. Okay, but the pin must go in down until here. So we can go back to our feet. Double click on this. And then we can add on one is like SMA pin. So you can click on preview. Then they will connect until bottom here. So click OK. Now we're done. So we're going to click create this and this. Okay, as a, as a reflection. So you can see all of here, they have like this for refraction. That means the radiation here, they will bounce back. So they will become like directional antenna. All right. Next, you can go to cylinder. Just click escape. And then this. Then click on V. Then the diameter is this diameter. Okay. And inner will be zero and then center zero and the dimension will be the same s and s m a pin and here will be the s all right so we can preview so the this diameter we can put it like 10 cm as long as it's big, big enough like cover the whole helical so click ok so we have something like this all right click ok now Okay, so we have something like this. Then we save this file. Okay, so save it. Okay, so we're going to click on the disk. Okay, so to Boolean here and then insert the Teflon and the fit. Alright, so we just click on enter. Then you can see here now we have the slot here. Okay, then now we can simulate. So we can put on the power like big face here and we can click on simulate with guy port. Click OK. Now we have a port here. Then we can start simulate now. Okay, so we start. We can choose like 30 and then we can click on start. Okay, so once done the simulation, we can check on the result. Okay, the result you can see here is not that good for 2.45. Then we can check the dimension. We can change the dimension. Okay, let's say we change it, follow the demo 2.33. And the S will be like 1.561.
Okay. And the calculator actually just for you for a reference number that you for you to design. Okay, but you can change it. And then let's try. Okay, so sometimes you face something like this, but don't worry, you can change it back. Like let's say I made it like 2.33 yes okay so done then we can start simulate okay before this we need to delete the few monitor here because it's 0 0.6 so this is not what we want we can just start the simulation Okay, so once done the simulation, we can check on the result. Okay, so we can click on the marker here. Check on 2.45. Okay, so it's near to 2.45, it's fine. Then we can go for the simulation. Add on the simulation, we can go for like far few monitor. And click on like surface current. We can choose on the time. We can make it the step is like 1, 0 0.1, apply. And we also can make it like far few here is like 2.45. We only can we only check for 2.45 because our S11 is dropped at 2.45. Click OK. And then we go for the S parameter here. We can just click on start. Okay, once done the simulation, then we can go check for the far field, 2.45, then we have our far field here, so we can click on the plot, show the structure, and linear scale, what is our gain, so it's like 8.948, and we can go for like 1D plot here, the polar plot, okay, we can click on linear, so this is our 2D far field and we also can change to the Cartesian. Okay, then we can go to the properties, we can take on 360 and 180 here. Okay, so it's like directional. Okay, and then we also can go for like our 2D to check out the surface current. So this is our antenna. Okay, we made it transparent and we can make it like smart scale db and animate so you can see slowly the current will flow okay so this for the surface current and this is the maximum current flow so next be done and then for if you if your exercise is like to 5.8 then you can just change here to 5.8 gigahertz and then click on calculate then you will have different dimension of course the higher frequency the shorter the wavelength and the shorter the dimension of the design okay to increase the the gain of the helical you can just increase the number of turn okay so of course it's like increase the number of turn of your helical antenna the stronger the gain okay so that's all for your how to design the helical antenna Thank you.